Today we are going to look at how to add in visual scenes to TD Snap. You can add these visual scene pages into any of the vocabulary files within TD Snap. The really great thing is the aphasia page set already has a template for these visual scenes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can just copy that template from the aphasia page set and then put it here into core first. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into the settings, that gear up in the top right, and I'm gonna go down to page set. When I look here, it says Lauren's page set. I'm currently on core first. When I click on that, I get another option of page sets. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're able to add a page set, and this is where you'll be able to find the aphasia page set. I've already added it, so you can see it right here at the front. So when I go to the aphasia page set, I'm just gonna press done so you can get a full picture of what it looks like. If I press this down arrow on the far left, the next thing in the menu on the left is topics visual scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And you can see there's already some visual scenes that are created. So if one of these works really well for you, you can copy that and move it into your other page set as needed. I'm actually gonna look for today at this my topic one so when I click on this, this is actually a blank page set. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to press the settings. I'm gonna go ahead to page set, and then I'm gonna go over to page. And I want to, on the far left, do import export pages. So I'm going to export a page bundle to my Toby Dynavox. So you're going to need your Toby Dynavox login. Um, but then I'm gonna go ahead and do the topics visual scene my topic one. You can see it's already selected in the bottom down in this blue box. If I wanted to select something else, I could type in visual scene and you can see all of the visual scenes that we were looking at are now popping up. So if I wanted more than one of them, I could click them. So maybe I want the other topics page and maybe I want the restaurant page and the weather page. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and export all of these together. So we're gonna press next. And I'm just going to change the title to visual scene page. So that's how it's gonna pop up in my Toby Dynabox. So when I go to look for it later, that's the title that I'm going to see. So I'm gonna then export and it saves those visual scene pages. Then you're gonna press done. Now I want to go back to my core first page set. So I'm actually going back into settings and page set. And when I click on that, I'm gonna go back to my core first. And here I am in my core first. So when I'm looking at where I want to put the visual scenes for right now, I'm gonna add them under quick fires. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a button that goes to the visual scene pages. So I'm gonna go ahead to settings right next to my phrases. I'm gonna click that button. I'm gonna type my scenes. And then I'm going to have it link to a page. And I'm actually going to link it to a new page. So my new page is gonna be scenes. And then I'm gonna create that. So now it's gonna to go to that page and this is what that page looks like. It's a blank page for me to put all of my visual scenes on it. I'm gonna click that first button and this button is going to be my playroom. I'm gonna type in the label playroom. I don't actually need the message, so I'm not gonna use the message. And then I'm going to have it link to a page. So on the left, it's gonna to link to a page and I'm going to import the page I wanna to link to. And I'm gonna import from my Toby Dynavox. And you can see I have these visual scene pages. It's the first one that pops up. That's what I'm looking for. When I press next, it's gonna download those scenes and then I can press pick which one I would like to link it to. So I'm gonna link it to this first one and import it. Now it has been successfully done. I'm actually gonna take this corner and drag it so this button becomes a little bit bigger, just so you guys can see a little bit better. I can stay in edit mode and double click. Playroom. And you can see now that the grid pulled over. So in the aphasia page set, the grid was smaller, which is why it looks like it's decreased in size. Um, but the 
system still works the same and we can create, we can add and change those buttons to make them bigger as needed. So when I click this gray area, this is where I get to put that picture. That's where that picture belongs. So if I go to where it says no symbol at the bottom and I collect or I select the camera, I can upload from my photo library and I'm going to pick my playroom picture. And then I'm going to go ahead and select this first pick first button and I'm going to type let's play. I'm going to hide that screen. It automatically populates a image for me so I could delete that if I want or I could leave it there. And then I'm going to also put it's my turn. So now you can see how we've added the picture in and some supporting phrases. Remember in TD Snap you can easily just drag buttons to where you want them to go. So if I wanted to make this let's play bigger, I could just drag the blue button to make that a larger location. So um, I know it's not beautiful, but this is how you add in visual scenes to TD Snap.